are here with Troy and he is the Pyro Sapien and he is pretty much straight fire. His charts all fire. He does fire dancing. So we do the art of flow. We've got a couple coming up, a few big things happening and what it is that you know you do with the Pyro Sapiens. Awesome. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm really excited. I've been doing this for about nine years. Um, created this group that long ago and, and it's been a passion of mine. Uh, don't know why. Never thought I'd get into something like this. I'll tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a feeling you have a few answers. Well, there. I just have hypotheses. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Well, that's later. You know, we've been growing and growing and, and our fan base has been so supportive throughout the years. And we've been, yes, much love. <laughs> and we've been able to uh, do these events and they just been getting bigger throughout the years. And, and we are blessed this year to be doing this uh Back to School Supply Drive and Skate Night, um, August 20th. And we are really thrilled to be doing this. We have brought together a bunch of artists from around town, visual artists and DJs and our fire performance group, which we are so happy and thrilled to have Scarlett uh, a part of. Uh, she really brings another element and another level to the group i love you i'm so glad to be here like it's my favorite thanks for letting me just be a part of it i've learned so much from these guys uh, so fire fire spinning is something that's really kind of new to me but i'm a visual artist i'm a performer and so i think that i all that encompasses all genres do you know what i mean yeah. but i'm a flow artist because what i'm doing is what Absolutely. we're doing yeah. we're going to talk about the flow arts is what we do and why you can hire us for your band or for any private events because we're dancing we're moving our bodies in the fire uh we're harnessing that with the music and so it's kind of a symbiotic sort of um space that we create using fire um and it's so fun because it's just it's like nothing i've ever felt before so i'm addicted yeah I just it kind of it brings me to life uh, i kind of kind of become a different person <laughs> Um, all together, I think an entity of some sort takes over, you know, like yes. maybe, uh, that's my, um, way of, uh, it's definitely my way of expressing myself. Uh, dancing in any form is a great way of expressing yourself and don't let anybody tell you you can't or you shouldn't mm -mm. for that matter. Yeah. But with this event we've got coming up, we've got a drag show. We've got five DJs. We're going to have visual artists. Food, uh, trucks, we're going to have Brad, vendors. Brad Bogle is going to be doing his light and stuff. Oh, and if y'all haven't seen Brad Bogle uh, do some the, of his amazing the, work, it's the incredible. He's incredible. And yeah. he has a Saxima kazoo. Yeah, the Saxima kazoo. Some shit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got to check that out. Listen. It's great. Oh, it's the best. Oh. Um, but yeah, and then there's going to be drag queens there as yeah. well. Yeah. Drag queens have contributed so much. They are really philanthropic philanthropic that's such a big word yeah, i know it is isn't but it? Wow. you know and then we see is hub city normal on this one hub city they are. normal yep. uh the pyro sapiens so there's so many like great people coming together and now we've also we've got some tattoo artists that are going to be there and some uh people with their paintings and selling some tie-dye shirts and oh. Yeah, we're going to have some art out there. We're going to make it fun for everybody. Yeah. You know, 60s, 70s, 80s themed costumes oh, with yes. lights, skating. We're dressing I mean, up 80s, wait, 60s, the town 70s, and needs 80s. something like this. Don't you oh. all agree? First of all, I mean, if you have not been to Prima Vista, that's where we did the, the tattoo expo. I think that y'all saw some videos from that. That was so fun. But yes. Prima Vista, it's like on the northwest side of town. It's not hard to get to. It takes me 10 minutes to get there. Um, and they have like a full bar. There's going to be like a place where you are the middle spot. We're going to roller skate. Yeah. And then there's like a stage, great sound system. The staging is state of the art. If y'all haven't checked it out, y'all need to. We've done quite a few events there. And the people that run this place, a huge shout out to them because they are so nice. Yeah. And uh, y'all really are cool. We, we are you. so grateful for them giving us this opportunity. Mm hmm. For sure. So we have that coming up. That's. Um, August 20th at Prima Vista, 7 p.m. to about midnight. And it goes to a good cause because, look, Troy, he's been going to the different schools in Lubbock that are in most need. Which schools are they? It's the District 1 schools. Well, We're doing it for them. That's right. right. Yeah. Um, I reached out uh, initially to a bunch of businesses. And for, unfortunately, I'm only one person. 
Um, had I had the opportunity to reach out to more businesses, I absolutely would have. But hopefully next year we can get more people on board and, and see what we're really about this mm -hmm. year because we really do mean to do good. This just warms my heart to do this. I mean, mm -hmm. I have so much warmth right now for everybody just to give what I can because I know everybody's struggling. Uh, we all are on a day-to-day. -day. I do on a day-to-day, -day, believe me. But this helps me. It keeps me out of my head. It keeps me busy. Mm -hmm. It gives me something to focus on. You and know? you give back to the community. Because yeah. Troy actually loves Lubbock so much. Oh, Troy's I do. Like, Born and raised here. He's like a Lubbock eye yeah. through and through. I um, do love Lubbock. I know. I want to bring uh, Buddy Holly's look back. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> working on that. You know? We should do a Buddy Holly set. We should. That would we be great. Should. Yeah. So we did a, like a private birthday party for a sweet 16 and we did a stranger things set oh that was fun and yeah. that was so fun we have um just like all different things so if you want like private shows troy um comes up with like the best set lists and uh it's really fun for us to like accommodate what y'all want do you know what i mean yeah. so it's it's you know we we have a lot of fun with this and that's the thing you know it's a lot of leeway and um doing what you love you're not really working isn't that how they say it, mm -hmm. right? Isn't that right? Yeah. yeah. And so with this right here, I went out to several local businesses. I went and hit up uh, Tumbleweed Sage and Coffee House. They're doing a lot of good with the community right now. Mm -hmm. um, they're they really they're making a lot of waves in the community, <laughs> which I love because the community needs to wake up a little they bit. They do. And I know? love it. And I just want to interject for five seconds and say these people that are going around with this meme, like... Uh, well, you shouldn't be asking why the drag queen, why, you should be asking why drag queens want to read books to children. Motherfuckers, stop it with your bullshit, with your ignorant shit. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it just makes me insane. Listen, look, a lot of times, do you know that drag queens don't always have children of their own? And so they, and they often are nurturing their own inner child. But Tumbleweed and Sage is a great spot. And you know, we do need to ruffle feathers about this. Like you can talk about it all you want and it's okay to have different opinions, but let's not um, be hateful and ignorant because you know, the children love to play dress up. I'm sorry, I used to dress up like um, Ariel, of course, and go face paint for little children. They just love the glitz and glamour of it. Drag queens are magnificent creatures. Like I'm, they're so tall compared to me. Like I'm always like, like I feel like it's like um, Austin Powers, like the the Doctor Evil and the Mini Me when I'm next to the drag queens. <laughs> yeah, oh I know it. Like a Jamie Foxx show, I was I dressed know it. like a, I was but dressed look, like in full costume, and I'm like they're gorgeous. Bottom line is when you try to shape somebody and mold them somebody that they don't want to be, it could turn out wrong. A lot of people don't know this. But I was born and raised around here, and it took me 33 years of my life to come out. I lived a lie, and I lived somebody, you know, I was, I was there to please everybody else and forget about my feelings. Mm -hmm. And so I learned how to, to, to do that quite well throughout the years. Mm -hmm. It's only in the past, you know, well, see, I'm turning 40 now. Congratulations. Um, thank you. 40 is the new 20. There right? you go. We're hey, so I feel much it. smarter. That's right. But, <laughs> you know, I'm experiencing um, who I really, truly want to be. And that's freedom. And being able to do this allows me that. Yeah, you're just like full of so much light. Like, and I just want to talk for a minute about how he is literally his soul is made of fire. Okay. <laughs> because yes, let's for those dive of in, you, please. I just want to say because, and also we talked about this before because you're not an angry person at all. Um, it, but we've talked about this because, you, okay, first of all, he has a lot of fire in his chart, which sometimes people that are over abundant of fire will be a little feisty. <laughs> Do you know what oh, I mean? Oh, I know. Yes. You know? Yes. And so, but Troy, because of the way that, thanks for opening up about that. And I think that's a good message to like, that we can all like normalize just being who you authentically are. And so, yeah. you know, well, you, you have know, to put I was on born a country boy around here, born uh, to a father who was a salesman and grandfather the same way. Country boys, you know, um, hardworking, did what I was told. And, um, like I said, try to please everybody. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's hard. And I don't recommend that to anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 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 uh, something I chose to do. 
because I didn't feel comfortable here in Lubbock. I didn't feel comfortable in this area expressing who I was because, you know, it's hard to do around here. And a lot of people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. take that and, and, and take it, you know, push it in the wrong direction. When there so. could be conversations that could totally make things easier. Mm -hmm. I have no anger because I found happiness and I know who I truly am. And when you know who you truly are um, and, and you are working towards making a better future for yourself and those around you, then there's no reason to have anger. Nothing but love. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I love you so much. <laughs> He's my Thank favorite you. fire. I like a moth to a flame. To a fire or whatever. <laughs> No, but well, thank you so much for like just being yourself and so and sharing that. Everything that Troy does is passionate, though. He's like so passionate about that I am everything. It's not just the Pyrosapiens, but I just wanted to talk about when I first met you. I said, "How much fire do you have in your chart?" He said, "I don't know." I said, "I bet you got some Sagittarius." And let's look. Um, I can post a link to what I'm looking at here. Uh, but your son, uh, your Uranus. Your Mercury, your Venus, and your Neptune are all um, in Sagittarius. And they're spanned through two houses, which are the first house and the twelfth house. And you have a Sagittarius rising. So you have a whole lot going on in your Sagittarius world here. And what does that mean? My sister's a Sagittarius. I have a Sagittarius moon, and that's why I'm so drawn to you. Um because I think people with the opposing or the same suns and moons kind of will be together sometimes, but you're very driven. So who is Sagittarius in the Zodiac? It's uh, the archer. So they're always on the hunt, but they're always kind of on the move. And so I've never known a Sagittarius to be still. <laughs> yeah, I am You're not, like, no. I'm always piddling. Didn't I'm, you say earlier? I'm piddling I'm always here piddling. All the time. That's and right, so, yeah. But, you know, I mean, he has, um, you know, a stellium is what we call it in astrology. It's called a stellium when you have more than four planets together. Um, and you have five of them all lumped together. And so you're a very fiery person. And so yes, I see. I, just, yes. I invite those of you who are skeptical about astrology to just really look at the chart of um, Troy here and see how much fire he is in his soul. But, you know, and then you have that Aries moon. And so she that's got to see fun. That the other day. The Aries moon, it was fun because I waited to see it. I didn't know where it was. I couldn't find it for a because he's so calm because we talked about how you because I asked you, how are you not like angry and like do you never fight and like I never see you fight really and people try to pick fights with you sometimes oh, and yeah. you'll walk away from it mm -hmm. a lot. But then when he does decide to get pissed off, it happens quick because that's the Aries moon. <laughs> Which is also fire. Well, at that point, I'd put up with as own well, much as I could. You know? know? And, like, but, and when I go off, I'll go off. We had to play good, good cop, bad cop. <laughs> and it was... <laughs> it was like a freaking act right there. That was so funny. It was like... Oh, my goodness. He ha even his moon is um, also fire. So everything about you is very passionate, driven. We just love that about you. I love that about you. And the, Well, the fact that I'm hearing this just... It, it, what I picture in my mind the whole time that I'm doing all these tours and got all these projects is just a big old fireball just rolling around in my, you know, <laughs> it turns, it's just a big old fireball waiting to go. <laughs> yeah. You know. But do you think that's but, like your chi and you figured out how to like harness it? And I think so. And you know, like, like it's almost like really like. I've learned a lot of patience not having to, having to keep my mouth shut, you know, mm -hmm. the 33 years. Mm -hmm. And so, which I did. And oh, I just sat did. back and I observed. And the patience and you that do. and just you keeping it patient. bottled up, yes. You're very patient, yeah. especially for an Aries moon. Because people with any Aries energy are a lot of first house. Because some of your Sag is in your first house and in your 12th house. So we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but first house is house of self. So that's a lot of, and it's like fast. Like I, I have a friend that has a stellium in the first house and he speeds like a motherfucker, dude. He has more speeding tickets. Oh my God. First house people, but yours is kind of balanced between first house and 12th house, which is kind of. And I, I don't, I like, I am very a balanced person. Like I must have things a certain way. And, you know, I work hard um, through my job and through my, my hobbies and my relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, it takes work all the way around, you know, it's not one thing one-sided 
and it's that constant motion of keeping moving but always moving in the right direction but that's a sag for you right yeah. there and so and and yeah and sag i do believe is cardinal so there's cardinal fixed and mutable and i think sag is cardinal uh, but that's like, you're really like, you are so, like, you point this way and you do go get what you want. It, Sagittarius rules this part of the body and like your legs are like so long, like you're this part. They really are. From here and, here. and my yeah. best friend Amy is a Sag and she's like, her spirit animal is a giraffe, but she's got these long, gorgeous, like, thigh, like my thigh is like a quarter of her thigh. I'm like, bitch, how'd you get legs so long? But like, that's your Sag. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. So yeah, so that's what that's why because y'all are always in motion and like that's the part of the body you rule. So I love being around you. My Sagittarius moon loves all your Sagittarius planets. <laughs> I love this chick. Her spirit is, so and much. her energy is, it, it, it really helps me uh, when I'm in a funk. Like she came over right before and I was like, I don't know what was going on today. I'm just I kinda, love that sage. I did a little, know. I did a little smudge, yeah. a little smudge. And then I told her it may just because you know. <laughs> a smudge and a beer. A smudge and a beer. That's my. That's right. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, then we got a lot of other fun stuff coming up. Uh, we do you want to announce like if you're gonna go on? Do you know? Well, okay. So I have kind of made it official, unofficial. Smudge. So we are in the works of kind trying to put on a coast to coast cosplay tour, and this will involve us going to Los Angeles and Las Vegas. And uh, putting on a show here uh, in Lubbock at Prima Vista. Um, and then we will also be doing something in Dallas and Pensacola, Florida. And I think he said, or I think we also said Seattle, Washington, um, and a couple of other places along the East Coast. Um, we are in the beginning stages of all this. We're going to be working with a couple Hunger of artists. Aid. Is it Hunger Aid? We or? work with Hunger Aid. And so we're going to work with their organization to these stops in some of their cities, you know, where they're, where they're located at in their mm -hmm. chapters. And then our ultimate goal is in October of next year, put on a hunger aid concert. Ooh, and yes. we are going to take over some property and the, I'll let everybody know the details on that as well. But we are, we are working hard uh, all the way around to bring this to the people. And we are very excited about that. Um, these days, our philanthropy work. That's hey, how you say that word. There you go. That's how you say that uh, word. <laughs> we, are, we are working with a lot of different organizations our well, our, ourselves. And um, they are making... I'm going to drink my beer with my finger right now. Philanthropy. We are making a lot of connections. And let's just say that. And it's been, mm -hmm. it's been wonderful. Yes. But again, the best one that's coming up, August 20th, which it's going to be a Saturday. Is that a Saturday? Uh-huh. Saturday. But y'all have seen us post this flyer everywhere. Come on out. It's going to be so amazing because it's a backpack, black, back to school backpack and school drive. So, and it goes to, you know, O.L. Slayton. Um, so, yeah, we've teamed up with uh, District 1 of L LISD. Um, we are going to choose some of the, you know, these are some of the poorest dis uh, schools in the district. Mm -hmm. And so we want to bring some supplies to well-needed people, you know, where they're going to go, obviously, that those need yeah. the most, you know, and so... So it's a great cause. It is. Um, so, yeah, you definitely have to go bring some school supplies down, and then can you buy tickets in advance, or are there tickets? You the can, um, but about a week before the event, probably here soon, I'm going to get all the tickets in my possession, and we'll just sell them at the door. Okay. Um, right now, they are currently available at Ralph's Ralph. Records. Yeah. Um, That'd be your easiest now. way to get them in town. That way you don't have to go get them at the door because there might is it's going to be ten dollars. It's going to be ten dollars at the door, but we we ask that you bring a donation of some school school supplies too, if you could. That'd be great. Yeah. But the, we've got these other businesses involved, and we've got a competition with these businesses. Mm -hmm. So with the competition with the businesses involved, we're going to have them collect the, see who can collect the most supplies. Mm -hmm. And whoever does that, uh, Pyro Sapiens will give uh, the business a lunch. You know, we'll, oh, just something to cool. thank them for their participation. It's it's been a real pleasure of ours to go out there and talk to the community and let them know who we really are about. Yeah. And, and not only that, but having the Pyro Sapiens, Hub City Normal, and the Drag Queens all working together just proves that you know, no matter what you think of us, we are doing good for the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, if you're questioning it, you're just questioning your own self. So quit drinking the Kool-Aid 
uh, you ignorant folks that want to hate on everybody. It's love. I, hate. I ignore the hate and uh, enjoy the love. So that's ignore how I live. Ignore the hate, enjoy the love. love. That's how we like to live. Yeah. So we're just trying to spread positivity. And so we'd love to see you there. It's going to be fun. We love to perform. I know that it's, he's so amazing. Like, and then also we have other performers with us. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, uh, the show is constantly evolving. Um, we are so excited to keep elevating every time, you know, seeing what we can bring to the table to try to make it more entertaining for y'all. So, mm -hmm. um, that, uh, as long as we have that passion and that drive and we continue to do that, um, look forward to seeing some great stuff from us mm -hmm. for sure. And yeah. I want to thank you so much yeah. for having me here and for, um, enlighten me on my my uh fire <laughs> on your fire and yes. then i'll also say like i i also do sinistry charts and i overlapped your chart with your husband's chart and like your nodes are inversed and stuff so there's a lot of stuff going on like layer wise that i'll tell you individually later but he's all fire y'all he's like a thousand <laughs> he's like the second i met him i was like hmm yeah, it like, but I would say like for a fire person, um, just make sure you like. But you do like the water too. You just came back from Buffalo. Oh my god, like, I am a water. water. I'm a water baby too. Yeah. Like I grew up in the water. My mom had me swimming when I was a baby. And yeah, just try yeah. to balance yeah. your elements a little bit you know. so you don't incinerate yourself. Right. <laughs> well, look. That's another thing. I, I'm. That may be true. That's my. That might be Is why, that why I'm, you're so, I'm so brown. Dark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're just like. Catching yep. on fire, whatever, which way. I'm but. telling you. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. probably not a good thing, y'all, but. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's it like? You're just, like, toasting yourself with your torch. Yeah. Uh, no, um, you know, I've got a lot of Indian in me, so that shows, especially towards the end of the summer. Yeah. Uh, and, I'm know, like, bro, every yeah, time I see bit, you, yeah. don't even have a farmer tan, though, do you? <laughs> no. I kind of like it, you know, el natural. El natural. Me, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll come out to all our events coming up. We love you guys. Uh, August twentieth, yeah, we'll absolutely. see you there. We're gonna go practice. I got my hair pulled back so I don't catch it on fire. Nice. Let's go get it. I end up looking like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, don't do that. I no. like listen. I'm just gonna pull it back. But yeah, go. we're gonna practice so that we have something to perform for you guys. But it's the best. So love you lots. Yes. Peace out. Thanks for coming to my Wayne's World talk show. <laughs> okay, love you. <laughs>